y'all I hope we have not waited too long on the corn I have been busy and look at what's happened here the stalks look like they've just turned like this purple color we need to go ahead and harvest any and all at this time because oh look at that see well, it's like a baby it's like a baby corn it's a baby corn see how far I was able to get along as you can see it's quite windy today Looks like the tiny individual kernels were all coming in. They look so fabulous, but unfortunately, wow, it's just, we're at a day 87 on the corn. Very starchy. Very much so brown and very, as you can see, crispy, dry. Things can go a different direction real, real quick. That's dry. Very nice. All right. It may or may not be ready, but the silks are brown. Tossing it in. I'm gonna stay positive. See if there's any more on that. No, we're good. Look at the root requirements for corn. Wow. Not very deep, that's for sure. All right, good to know. That one I truly believe has gone to seed. Do you see all this sprouting out of the corn? I mean, seriously. Yeah, that's actually coming from the, the kernels. So that's really bizarre. Even though the silk is dry, it might have been it's too much for it. Let's see. I think this is when you say shucks. Get it? Shucks from corn shucks. Oh yeah, you see? Okay, this is interesting. Okay, so this is the beginning stages of the corn and you see we did it a couple of kernels, but it didn't have enough time to develop. The silk was dried out and it's just not developing any further. So that's that for that one. Did you notice something? You probably did. Remember we succession planted the corn? We're getting ready to start all over, folks. We're gonna see if we can make another round before it gets too, too cold. Normally, our first frost date here is November 30th. So uh, we'll see, we're in zone nine, smack dab in the middle of 9A, 9B, so we'll see. And that's a volunteer basil right there going on, but we'll see if these other, the corn that we started later, there's one right there, if we have an opportunity to get that to Fully grow. Here's our harvest. Let's see which ones we have that are good. Nope, didn't have a chance to make it all the way, as you can see. All right. Now this one, this is super dry. As you can see, yet the corn, uh, no bueno. Every season's not a win, y'all. It's a learning process. Okay, so this tells me one thing for sure. I did wait too late. Okay, on this one for sure. Even though it wasn't fully uh, developed as far as all the kernels, you can tell that it was too late as far as, ugh, you know, it's dry. Not as far as, eh, but as far as it's dry. Let's take a look at this one. Okay. All right. Wow. There we go. That's what we got on that one. So I think we can pretty much say that we can grow corn. Maybe I didn't have enough of the right nutrients. Maybe I waited too long. Um, I don't know. If you have any suggestions, please, please, please comment below. You know, I'm always interested in learning new things. Take a look at this one. It's got a hole in it, something that already burrowed its way in. Coming in, uninvited guests. Hello. 
anyone home. Hopefully not. Ooh, gross. Yeah, it was munching away. And as you can see, the corn. Okay. All right, y'all, you know, I'm happy, and I'm gonna tell you why. I grew peaches and cream corn, whether it uh, made it to uh, complete harvest and deliciousness. I mean, it made it to harvest, it just wasn't, uh, wasn't ready. Uh, this is success, this is success. All right, y'all, thanks for stopping by Arizona Homestead today. And as always, my friends, be happy, be well, and be blessed. Until next time, bye-bye.